Hey guys, what's up? Miss L here with the GST Dragon. So I'm finally off work. I'm going to play with my car. Um, trying to get it cleaned up. This poor girl is filthy. So apparently they just ran it on the track and ran the poor thing to death. I've got rust here. So I'm trying to degrease and clean up the engine. Oh, this poor thing needs some work. This really frustrates me. Look at all the rust on the strut tower there. Over here, too. What I was doing with this is divide the engine in half. I learned that off somebody's YouTube page to clean it. I haven't even got to this half yet, so I haven't touched any of this. Um, this has gone all the way through. Okay, now, I'm not a welder. I went to school and did some welding classes, but I don't have a welder, and I haven't welded in a long time. It's going through right here, if you guys can see that. Yeah, that really sucks. Poor thing is in, I mean, runs good. It's, it's in some rough shape, though. I'm trying to clean it up. I've got dirt trapped underneath the fender. The fender we had to cut off because the guy I bought this car from tried to mold the rocker panels on with some caulking. He's a nice guy, I'm not saying nothing bad, but I'm gonna take it off. Um, Cause if I wanted to mold my rocker panels to it, um, I would mold it with panel bonding and then fiberglass and then bondo. So I've got a problem with my door hinge here. And of course I told you guys in the last video, the hood latch, which, I'm ADHD, guys. I'm all over the place. I'm trying to move this piece of crap, sand it down, and put some paint on it. Try to grind the surface rust off before it gets any worse. My voice is slipping. I have no idea why. I work three 12 hour days in a row and I'm finally off. This bumper, when it's on the car, this side is bent, is bent in on the side of the car. So I took it off. Take a look at it. Oh. <laughs> Got a big grip right there. Um, someone had drilled holes in it, apparently, for license plate, probably. But it needs paint. Everything needs repainted on this car. I love this color. People are saying it's a sunset orange, sunburnt orange. I don't know. Some, something like that. So I'd like to repaint it. Um, the door. Yeah. So um, He broke the door handle off. He said he broke it off. I haven't pulled it apart yet. We all know these are notorious for breaking. But let me get down in there and see if maybe a rod is just attached because I know these door handles pretty well. But let me show you guys what my door does if I can. First thing it'll do when I open it, it drops. It drop down. See? So I've got to do some adjustment here. Then, when you're opening the door, the reason we took the fender off, it was scratching the fender. Okay, well, it's an old car, 97. Um, even if I try to put the fender back on, it's like scratching here. The door is too close to the fender. So I'm going to try to figure out today how I can adjust that. But <sighs> Wife's been at home playing with her. I haven't got to do much with her yet. Um, one thing I want to ask people that have these performance engine cars have their car modified like this one is why oh why is it blowing out black set suit whatever you want to call it out the tailpipe um that's gross so i thought maybe it needs a fuel treatment so i thought about putting a fuel treatment in it but yeah i'm not for sure i want to show you guys how many miles is on this thing the speedometer actually says 9,000 miles. I've never had a car with 9,000 miles. Sorry, my key's in here around the corner. Trying to warm up the garage a little bit. Going to take some parts off. Start sanding down. He said he was bringing me another bumper, but honestly, I could repair this one. Anybody need a OEM bumper cover for 95 to 99 Eclipse? I might be selling one.
So if I could paint it for you, if you wanted to paint it, but uh, let me at least, I don't want to start the car guys. I'm in the garage. My uh, carbon dioxide detector went off last time we started the car in here. So I don't want to do that. Let's just, here we go. If you can see that, I'm very impressed. The newly rebuilt engine has 9,008 miles on it. Now, we haven't driven it anywhere. It just sits here. It doesn't have legal tags or anything on it. It doesn't have any tags on it right now. So Even just sitting here with it turned over. Oh, just checking out the boost gauge. So She needs a little bit of work, guys, but I'm working on her, so... That's better. My phone always goes blurry. I need to get a camera one of these days. Yeah, my voice sounds funny. Go ahead and make fun of me. Um, I've not really been sick. I've been working, though, and I'm having cold a little bit. Do you guys hear that? I don't know what that is. I think it's the stereo, but I'm, I think I'm going to pull this stereo out and give it to my wife. Um, I'll put a new stereo in this later. This isn't going to be driving much right now. For one thing... I need a little practice with the clutch. Don't make fun of me if you want, but my other car is an automatic. Um, my last two Eclipses were automatics. It's just I haven't never had a five-speed, so it's going to take a little practice because I haven't driven one in a while. This clutch has to go all the way to the floor to engage the clutch, and that is something I'm having a hard time with because um, it really hurts my leg to push it all the way to the floor. But I'm going to try to learn and shift it by the RPMs. Uh, that's what somebody was saying. But it's a stage two clutch with a lightweight flywheel. It's got, I'm trying to remember what all this guy told me, so work with me here. It's, the ECU has been tuned. It was sent off and tuned. Um, it's got ARP head studs. It's board pistons to 10, 550 pound fuel injectors. Um, I mean, this, this thing has been worked on. Um, this, let me show you guys this. This is bugging me. I'm going to take this apart while I'm off this week. Why is this so loose? That bugs me too, because when I'm trying to shift it, I can't tell what gear I'm in. Because his shifter is very loose. So, just some little stuff like this. When you get a car like this, for the good price that I got it at... <laughs> You're going to have a little bit of work to do in it. And I do have a little bit of work to do with it, guys, but it's not that bad. I can't wait to get her tagged and get her on the road. She has no tags at all right now. So tomorrow, I'm going to drive it a little bit around the corners and stuff. Just get some practice. I'm not going to take it far. So being a student of auto body collision repair. Somebody tell me how to repair this. Do not tell me I have to cut all this out and weld metal. I don't know how much of this is rusting, what this is that they put over it. See this? Something they tried to hide it or protect it or I don't know. But so the project for today is maybe try to patch up this bumper. I can't paint it right now. I got to find the paint code for this color. Um, tomorrow will be 47 degrees. We'll take her out, driver, practice drive, and whoa, that headlight's very loose. I don't think it's supposed to be. We'll sand this off. Um, the tent he had on there. See if I can buff those back up to look decent. Uh, I'm going to take this off. Try to adjust my hood latch. Because my hood is not latching down right. Uh, I was actually actually thinking about stealing the black hood for the spider. Just for now. Because this one's not driving. I bet my spider would look better with this black hood. Don't know if I can get it off by myself. Because um, by myself, wife's. 12 hour shifts all weekend, so it's just me here. But anyway, there she goes, guys. Our 97 Mitsubishi Eclipse GST. If you see anything on this engine like this, what goes here that you guys think you could help me with, tell me. Because I, I have no idea. I've never had a turbo. Um, it's the same dual overhead cam 2.0. No, because this is a 4G63. This isn't the 420A. It's not the same engine. I've never had this engine. So I've had the 420A and the 4G64. But if you guys can think of anything else, um, anything that looks odd on it or any comments or 
anything. Just be kind. But um, my first turbo, my first five speed. And I will keep doing videos as I get progress on her, as, as I get some stuff done. Like I said, wanting to get her out of the garage. Um, hopefully the weather's decent tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a video so you can hear the engine. The exhaust is not as... My voice. It's ridiculous. The exhaust is not as good as the one on my Spider. Of course, my Spider exhaust is brand new. So this may need an exhaust. Um, I want my wife to be home so we can jack this up in the air and get under it and see how it looks underneath. But... That's all I've got for now, guys. I'm going to take off some parts, try to sand off some rust on that, try to fix that. Um, may finish taking these rocker panels off. If it's warm enough, I try to repaint. I'm in the garage. I think I've got it 50. It might get 60 eventually. Um, I don't have a heater in here, but when I open my door to my house, it, it, it gets a little bit warmer in here. So, Okay, guys, leave comments, opinions. Help me with the strut towers and the rust that I got here. And tell me what you think. See y'all later. Bye.